Hi, this is Paul Neal of Pen Productions, and this is a quick demo of the new tool that's uh, about to be shipped called Pose Saver. This uh, tool is for saving poses on characters and working with any sort of uh, posing on the character for any parts, not just facial, but here's a quick demo of uh, how it works. Pose Saver is a modifier that get, gets added to your object, any objects you like, or instanced across objects, make it very easy to get to the controls. And in this case, what you do is you basically can store um, poses on controllers that you've identified as ones that you'd like to be able to work with. So there are groups that can be open and closed and added poses added to. And there are poses that can be uh, generated for those uh, on the fly uh, as you're animating. The poses can either be double clicked on. So we can just quickly double click on a pose to get to that pose, like a scream, for instance, or a wink kiss back to the default. We're going to actually scrub on that pose and have it slowly scrub into that pose or out of that pose. Essentially the scrubbing is much like the pen attribute holder is. It works from whatever pose it is currently at and scrubs from sort of a 0 to 100 percent of the pose that is being scrubbed on. So it's very very fast and quick to be able to work with. And of course with the groups, you can group any of the controllers and make subgroups and whatnot. So the all is controlling everything in the face at this point in time. What you'll notice is, is that when I scrub, it's actually moving the control objects above the head. And it isn't uh, actually storing any tracks of animation or anything in Pose Saver. It is directly uh, referencing the controllers that are actually driving the animation. So any uh, tracks can be created. In this case, we have ones, uh, one here called eyes, so I can put it into a wink or uh, closed or back to a scared look just for the eyes. And I've broken it down into areas for, for instance, the mouth. Um, be able to change any one of them. Or even down to something as simple as the tongue and be able to uh, control the tongue. Pose Saver can be used for any track of animation. It doesn't just need to be uh, faces. It can be anything in the uh, in the character. In this uh, case, this Pose Saver has been uh, placed on all of the control objects for the hand and can easily be uh, driving all of the tracks of animation to be able to control a hand and create the poses that you might want to uh, be able to uh, use. Pose Saver can float and the UI can uh, be opened up into a floating UI. And that way you can make it very, very easy to get access to uh, all of the different pose savers that are currently driving in the scene uh, parts of the character or any character in here. For instance, clicking on girl face will bring me up the UI for the face. I can drop that back to a default. Going back to the right uh, uh, finger control here for the right thumb and I can uh, double click on default again and put this uh, back. Even though it's instanced, uh, the first object in the instance is the one that's listed here, so uh, that's the one that's coming up. And uh, we can actually come back over and deal with the other hand as well. So for this hand, again, we can just go over to the uh, side and just be able to control and work with the other finger. So it's easy as that to use. Next uh, video will show you how to set it up and uh, best ways to work with it.